Hello Steelers and welcome to this a very quick review. Uh, you can see it's so quick I've not even had a chance to put away the Stalingrad game that I was playing this weekend with my friends. This was an old group game. It will be filmed and it will uh, be appearing at some point in the future but that's not why we're here today. Today uh, I'm here because I'm reviewing the new Warbases releases. Uh, very kindly uh, Glenn and the crew over at Warbases sent me some preview versions or uh, pre-release versions I suppose you could say of their new bases, their new full colour uh, bases. These were designed in conjunction with uh, Joe the Wargamer, uh, Joe Bilton, uh, he's known as Joe the Wargamer over on Twitter so go and check him out, he makes some amazing scenery uh, and he also is part of the Heroic Maps uh, duo as well and they make some fantastic maps and things for, uh, for role playing. But that's not the reason we're here today. We're talking about the uh, the war bases, uh, new, as I say, fully printed bases for wargaming. Um, they've sent me four through. I don't exactly know how many there's going to be in the full range. Uh, some of the images that they sent through beforehand uh, only had these four in them. Uh, but you can see here we've got uh, like a sci-fi kind of one here. Uh, we've also got one here with paving slabs on it. Here's another with... Uh, this one has got uh, wooden slats and things on it, and then this one is just grass as well. Uh, these are in different styles. We've got quite large circles for the uh, the sci-fi ones, smaller circles for the flagstones. Also, we've got uh, longer rectangles for the uh, planks, and then squares for the grass ones. Now, I'm assuming, and again, I'm not 100% sure, but by the time this video is out, they should probably have announced that they're going to be releasing those this week. Um, these will probably come in different shapes as well because I'm sure that's probably a pretty easy thing to do once you've just actually printed the sheet. Um, I'm being told that these are £5 per sheet so you get quite a number of uh, bases on them. Uh, let's just count them up quickly and then what we'll do is I'll jump in a bit closer and we can have a look at them uh, in more shape. So the larger size ones here, these are one, two, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on those. Uh, I'll measure these in a second so we know exactly how big they are. Uh, on the smaller sized circles, one, two, three, four, uh, and we've got five of those, so five, fours, uh, 25, sorry, uh, is, is that right? No, four, eight, 12, <laughs> 16, uh, 20 in total on that one there. Um, terrible maths letting me down. Uh, the rectangles, we've got one, two, uh, that's 10 on there and then also for the squares we've got 1, 2, 3, 4 and again 4, so 16 on there. So these are about uh, half an A4 size I would have said for each of these. As I say, I, I've known with war bases that they do lots of different shapes, different sizes of things so I'm fairly certain that these could probably be uh, cut into various smaller or different shapes depending on uh, what the individual needs I think. So what we'll do is we'll have a look at these closer uh, and I can show you each one individually and I'll show you how they, uh, basically how they look close up. Uh, some of these will be fantastic, but it's basically, you know, really easy for you to, to get your basing figures with these. Uh, I will probably be using some of these sci-fi ones and the paving stuff and slab ones for my Jewish Dread or even Star Wars stuff because they, they work perfectly for that. And the, uh, these, uh, these ones here, the, uh, the the grass ones, I'd, I'd, I'd happily use those for maybe even some 6mm tanks or something like that if I'm going to go down the 6mm route. Anyway, like I said, what we'll do is uh, I'll set the camera up again, we'll have a look at these in close-up so you can see exactly how they look. I'll pop some of them out and we'll measure them up and we'll have a look and see how big these are. So here we have the bases. I say these have come really hot off the heels of the printed ponds, which I did a re review of uh, just the other week. Uh, I'll put a link to that uh, review in the description. But this is just going to give you a quick look at these. I'm going to show you them complete, and then we'll pop a couple out just so we uh, so you can actually see the detail on these. And they are lovely detail. I mean, Joe always does really good work, no matter what he's doing, whether it's role-playing maps or, uh, as I say, scenery and things that he's making. So these are the these are the floorboards. Uh, these would work perfectly well in you know pirate games or something like that, or uh, something where you're in a in an inn, an eighteenth-century inn or something. And these are the longer ones. So again, as I say, I think I've, I'm fairly certain that you'll probably be able to choose the type of 
uh, cut that you want for these. So they just pop out. You probably just have to clean off the edge a little bit. I mean, what I would probably do here, these are three mil uh, thick MDF. So what I would probably do is possibly just paint that slightly similar to the uh, the top of it. A lot of people, you know, they like they like to have a dark coloured edge on their base anyway, so it works for them. So let's just have a look. So that's that's 25 centimeters by five centimeters so that would be a nice prone figure or something or even somebody standing with their legs quite wide apart that would work pretty well for a 25 mil figure I'm, I'm fairly certain this one here is the sci-fi of gold it's uh, again I don't really know the, the actual names of these I'm just kind of guessing of them at the moment uh, they will probably be called something else on the thing and as I say well, by the time this video has come out I think the the, uh, the pre-release or the uh, the, the uh, yeah the pre-release information will be out there so you'll be able to check it out yourself but again lovely uh, images on here so you've got grids and you've got all those kind of things uh, these will work very very nicely for my Jewish dread figures uh, again another three mil one how wide are these ones they're four centimeters. Uh, I would have thought that probably a lot of sci-fi gamers uh, doing uh, 40k or things like that would probably prefer a, a, a 25 millimeter round one. And I'm going to say I'm going to go out on a limb and I'm going to say that they will most likely be able to do that for you because I know war bases have, have certainly done quite a lot of things for me in the past uh, bespoke things. I mean, it's just you know it is literally just a printed sheet and then they just cut it out as and where they need to. So. That's these ones. Here's the grass ones. Very typical for um, for uh, people like me, uh, you know, historical war gamers. So this is uh, quite a nice grass colour as well. So again, let me just pop one of these out so we can have a look at it. Uh, all in three mil MDF. Uh, this I think this is really it's a really good new initiative to be doing this. It's a really nice, easy way to get people into the hobby. There we go. To, uh, two and a half centimeters 25 millimeters square so they're perfect and the thing is as well war bases also sell uh, movement trays so you know if you're mounting say I don't know Napoleonic figures or ancient figures on these these would most likely slot straight into a movement tray as well and you've got you know perfect uh, shape really you just need a movement tray that's big enough to take a number of these really perfect really really good really nice and then finally the other one is the paving slabs and again as you can see this is a bit more urban uh, really nice details on those slabs there as part of it and this I would say is probably a more typical wargaming base size so this I'm gonna guess is 25 mil yeah there you go that is 25 mil and that's the circle one so again 3 mil deep 25 mil uh, I would Potentially, I would put again, as I mentioned, I would possibly just re repaint the edge of them, maybe even in black or something, or in this case, probably in stone grey or something, just to blend it in a slightly more. Uh, I'm afraid I haven't got a, uh, a grass table down, or uh, I have got a concrete table down here. You can see uh, my concrete mat. Um, so this is how they look against those but obviously you'd probably want to mat that matches the bases that you're using. But there you go, you've got four to choose from. I don't know if they're going to be doing more in the future. Uh, I would be surprised if they don't, to be perfectly honest, because I think these are really, really nice. Five pound each uh, to set you up with plenty of uh, of, of, uh, of bases there for any of your figures from you know from everywhere from from ancients through to to moderns through to sci-fi through to pirates through to whatever i'll just keep thinking of pirates because of the uh, the planks on a ship you know that's that's kind of what's making me think of that but i think these are fantastic these are excellent um i do hope that war bases are going to expand their range on these uh, and also just the the, uh, the more printed MDF in the future because these have turned out lovely and as I say with a uh, big fan always a big fan of Joe's work he never seems to let us down whenever he's producing anything so I think you know this this is definitely a winner for me I would certainly buy these in a heartbeat uh, and I'll be using I'll be putting some of these to good use at some point in the future Okay, thanks for watching that. If you've enjoyed it, please do hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, leave me a comment. Um, 
I suppose leave us a comment in the uh, in the comments below. Just you know, what kind of thing would you like to see as well uh, in a similar similar design? What kind? What other designs are there that that are out there? I'm fairly sure, certain that the guys from Warbases will probably watch this review, and it will probably be nice as well uh, for them to hear what other people are interested in as well. You know, it's straight from the horse's mouth, so to speak. All right, I shall wrap it up there and uh, say thanks for watching, and I shall see you in the next Storm of Steel video.